Good morning, folks. Happy Easter to you. I uh, just had a great, uh, great church service, and uh, I figured while well, Mama's doing her thing, I'm going to go ahead and put a video together and do an actual uh, unpacking of something I just received. Um, that if Mama knew about it, would probably cause a divorce. <laughs> kidding i hope not i think my hat's crooked let's fix the old hat hey check it out this is uh this is my 1945 ford gpw it is its birth date is may 13th 1945 she was built in dallas texas all the serial numbers on this thing match i have not started the rebuild however i have um started to purchase both NOS used and reproduction parts to do the rebuild. I've done a lot of Jeeps over the years and uh, I put this one's pedigree so I don't want to, I'm going to build it eventually and I'm keeping it. I'm not selling it. But anyhow, you'll notice on here I have two vehicles. Um, we've got the Russian KV2 and we've got the British Centurion. This kit I got uh, is a Hanglong, which I ordered from Toucan uh, Hobbies. And then this is uh, a Tongdae 116 scale RC tank that I got from Motion RC. Now, most of my tanks come from Motion RC, including the one I'm getting ready to open up. This is an M68-3, uh, so I think it's going to be interesting. But one of the things I want to talk about real quick is is doing a functions check. The uh, Both of these vehicles had issues when I opened them up. And one of the things I like to do immediately, I don't put any accessories on it, I don't touch it with a paintbrush or nothing, I do a quick functions check on it to make sure everything's operational. And uh, so on this one here, everything worked on the tank with the exception of the traversing of the turret. I got good elevation, I got good forward, backward, neutral steer, left, right turn, forward, backwards, whatever. Uh, everything on this vehicle worked without a problem with the exception of the turret. So I took a quick video clip of the problem. I reached out to Toucan and they're, they're a Tricom company, right? So I don't know if they operate overseas and then ship from warehouses, but this one traveled from California. So I suspect they had a, a warehouse there, but anyhow, um, it took a day or two for them to get back to me, but they did get back to me and uh, were doing everything they could to try to help me out. So they requested the video clip. I sent it to them. Uh, they came back with recommendations to look at. Uh, however, they did point me in the wrong direction. I thought maybe one of the, uh, one of the plugs into the, you know, into the motherboard or whatever you want to call that, that, that unit inside the tank. Uh, may have been in the wrong slot or whatever. Well, when we pulled the, the hull apart, I immediately noticed that the ground wire to the motor that runs the traverse was completely disconnected. So I pulled that mechanism out. I did a quick solder job on it, did a bench test, it was good to go. I wrote the company back and said, hey, I got it fixed, here's what the problem was. And they sent me a $10 credit towards my next purchase. So. Uh, hey, props to those guys for, you know, trying to help me out with my problem. Uh, that way we can avoid shipping things back or whatever. Motion, same thing. Um, on this particular vehicle, um, I was not getting, well, this is lack of patience on my part, but the elevation, I didn't get to work, all right? And, but everything else was fine. This particular tank and this elevation, and this is a Tongdae uh, uh, tank, the elevation is slow, all right? And I just, I wasn't patient enough to just, you know, you'll elevate and wait for it to catch and then go. Um, so I made the video and, because they, they were the same way, they immediately got back to me, Motion RC did, and said, hey, send us a clip of what's going on. And I did, but while I was filming it, the, I got the elevation to work and I'm like, well, fellas, sorry I wasted your time, but here's the video anyways and thanked them and 
but the point is, is that the, the two companies, um, they didn't shy away from trying to help me out. And so I really appreciated that. Now, this I ordered from Motion RC. Now, when I buy these tanks, I don't get the, the, the professional versions. I can't afford them. All right, they're, they're well over $300 and um, you know, they have metal tracks, metal road wheels, metal gears, all that stuff. And uh, some of them have recoil in the gun. And so I get the very basic versions. Um, the ones that Motion has, their basic version has the, the metal gears in them. So I'm cool with that. And then, because I don't run my tanks all the time like a lot of guys do, uh, I like painting them and, and getting them looking real. I'm running around a little bit, but then they go on the shelf and they live with all their other tank buddies. So anyhow, uh, and if I want to upgrade them later, I will. So let's open this bad boy up, take a peek at it, and see how it looks. Now this is exactly how it shows up, by the way. Um, you know, FedEx delivers it, it's got a big old fragile handle with care. And we've got a puncture wound, so I'm sure that won't cause a problem. But, you know, a little dense here, so was it handled with care? Come on, FedEx. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. Handy dandy exacto knife. All right, right off the top. Top quality products, www.motionrc.com, and uh, it's free shipping, okay? That's cool. So, you get a little card. Model has a 30-day warranty. Please notify Motion RC of any problems with the 30-day warranty period from the day the product arrived. No exceptions will be made for models outside the 30-day warranty period. For complete warranty details, please see the full warranty policy, okay? So, you do get this card. And I have to tell you, I mean, I called them immediately when I received it. So, and there's actually a personal uh, signature on there where they're saying thank you, okay, on your receipt. So I appreciate that. A little personal stuff. All right. Let's get rid of the box. We got a tongue day. All right. You notice none of the uh, items are checked because <laughs> I'm a cheap dude. Um, and this is cool. Here's the three different variants and it's checked off. I wanted the plain Jane version of it. I didn't want any uh, reactive armor or anything like that. So anyhow. Let's open the box. And these boxes are pretty cool. That's all you need is another Another uh, opening video, right? Instructions, and that covers both versions of the M60. All right, RC instructions. Talks about all the different controls and stuff. Throw that in there. So generous partis. All right, gotta have parts. Most of the time, here's some here's some nice BBs because you got to shoot stuff. More parts and accessories. Boy, they got that one jammed in there. I might even have mess with it because I got a million bottles. But um, you get a little little tube of oil. And uh, the last three orders I got, the oil leaked. Uh, thankfully, the Ziploc bag held it. Oh, here we go. All right. And it has not leaked. So, good deal. And it does come with a little, little extension piece here to, to fill up. But, yeah, it leaked, and one of my boxes got damaged. And I hate that because I like to save these boxes. Okay. Remote, looks just like your hang along tanks. Functions about the same. What I like about this 
it only requires four batteries and fortunately I came prepared because I knew we were going to do a functions check live on camera so nobody can dispute <coughs> anything so and right away I got no power Might want to put the batteries in the right way. Mm -hmm. All right, light flashed. Now the piece of resistance. Oh, that's cool. She's big, mother beautiful. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can get the switch on. Most of the time, the batteries are already charged in here. And you can see here I've got metal uh, suspension arms, okay. The problem is, well, there is no problem, but where the hell is the switch located on this bad boy? <coughs> They're usually under the hatch. Give me a second, folks. I'm making myself look like a knucklehead. Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, men. I don't have any fingernails. Okay. The hatch is right here. Okay, right on the back deck. This is where you also charge it from. Turn the switch on. There's power. Okay. Time for a function check. I don't know if they put smoke in these things right away. Feels empty. See what I mean about the gun tubes on these tongue days? They're a little bit slower. detail this thing um, first of all I love this this looks better in person than it does these, these details are kind of weak but I think with some painting and some creative uh, some creative work we can uh, make these periscopes pop a little bit um, but the uh, just like on the on the centurion the shroud on the gun tube is they tried to get it imprinted on the front but it's incomplete on the sides. And so we're gonna to try to use the, the, uh, the, the fabric band-aid method that I come up with to see if that works. And we'll have to seal off some of these mounting holes here because these are for the reactive armor plates that are on the other version of the tank. But that's a really good representation and I like it. So let's... Uh, Let's put this on the floor and give it a quick test run. What do you think?
All right. Motion RC does a good review on these tanks. They, they go through a lot of the controls and stuff. I'm not going to bore you with that. But, yeah. I'm pumped. All right. Well, with your purchase, you get this remote um, rear bustle rack. All right. Smoke grenade launchers, all kinds of parts here. I'm not too keen on the decals that come with any company's tanks. Uh, I like to do some research online, find out how the original marking should be, and either paint them on by hand or find the water slide decals. So that's just my thing, right? Doesn't mean you have to be that way, but yeah, so plenty of parts to work with to clean up. Uh, you know, here's your hubs, and looks like there's, that's a sad attempt at a cable. So, all right, IR sensor, magnetized and a lengthy charging cable. Now these tanks, um, batteries are not easily removable. Batteries not easily removable. Um, they're permanent and they charge right there. This is your on off switch. Okay, now I don't use these things a lot so I don't mind it being like that. I'm cool with that, but if you're the kind of guy that's out there with several batteries and you want to run, 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 well, then you need to come up with a different solution. So there are people out there doing modifications. Anyways, I hope you like this, uh, this little video. Uh, these are ongoing projects. I have a lot more work to do on the Centurion, and I have some more weathering to do on the KV-2. Well, that's it, folks. Hope right. you enjoyed the a little video. I love these things. I could be doing worse things, right? So this one keeps me innocent. <laughs>